Um, good evening, everybody, and you're all very welcome. My name is Rachel Doyle, and I work with the National Women's Council. And as an organisation, we're a part as well of the Claiming Our Future initiative. And just to give a small bit of background again to Claiming Our Future, some of you will know this already and some of you won't. But essentially, over the past number of months, um, a number of organisations and individuals have come together to start to talk about and explore and think about the opportunities that are presented by the current situation that we find ourselves in in Ireland. And discussions have started to, to be based around the fact that this is an opportunity for change, that our current reality is an opportunity for something new and different to emerge. But that that new, different thing can only happen if individuals, all of us here at a local level, organisations and groups that we're connected with, come together and find spaces for communicating with each other, sharing ideas and come up with ideas for moving forward. And I suppose this, this thinking and this belief has emerged, I suppose, from the fact that there's widespread, and I think we all, all know that, shared dissatisfaction with regard to where we are at the moment, politically, socially, and economically. So I think that's something we all hold in common, all of us here in this room, and the people who are identifying with what claiming our future is about. There's also a strong concern and I think an ambition to put forward values as the basis and the criteria for creating policy into the future. And those values that are identified through our process here this evening and through an event that's happening on Saturday, we want those values to come to the fore in terms of shaping and making policy into the future. I think, as I mentioned, there's also a, a belief that this is an opportunity, that this is a time for change as opposed to fixing a broken system that didn't work for many people anyway, that this is about coming up with new ideas and new thinking about new ways forward. And it's also emerging out of an acknowledgement and a recognition that civil society, community groups, individuals are rarely really consulted or rarely have an opportunity to participate in the decision-making processes that affect our lives and that that needs to stop and things need to change in that regard. So claiming our future essentially is about trying to build a social movement. It's about bringing people together around shared values, common concerns and ideas about how we can change things into the future. Some of you will already know that there's a major event happening on Saturday in the RDS. There's 1,300 people registered for that event. Again, it's building on the kinds of things that I've been saying. It's a space and an opportunity for, for, for people to come together. Um, but that's only one step in this process. Claiming our future is an ongoing process. It's a work in progress. The event itself will be... Um, broadcast live on the website, on the Claiming Our Future website, so people who can't come on the day can tune into it um, in whatever technological way they've managed to set it up. But, um, and then after the event on Saturday, we want to have more events around the country, so there will be follow-up to that. The event on Saturday is just one step in the process. Tonight is another step in the process. So it's about making the national, local, the personal, political, and giving us all an opportunity, as I said, to come together and to try and develop a common agenda for going forward. So I think I'll hand back over to Anne now. Thank you.